So here's a, here's a quick example um, solving a differential equation. Um, by the way, uh, this type of differential equation where um, we have y prime and then some function of x and y, this is also known as a first order differential equation um, because it only involves the first derivative. You can sometimes also find things where you might have y prime, you might also have y double prime or even y triple prime. You might have higher derivatives involved in differential equations. And there are techniques for solving those sorts of things, but you won't really encounter them in this course. Um, you might see a few basic ones, but um, typically we're going to look at things like this. Um, the, probably if, if you do go on, one of the very first second order differential equations that you're probably going to encounter is probably coming from something like the wave equation involving second derivative and the first derivative. Um, tends to have solutions involving trig functions, um, but let's focus on this. So. What is it saying? y prime equals 2y. So we're trying to find a function f of x with the property that if we take its derivative, we get twice the function we started with. Um, and so we think about this for a minute. And we can actually guess the answer. If we think back of the functions we know, this is a familiar function. Um, if the 2 wasn't there, if we said, do you know a function um, that's equal to its own derivative? You'd say, yes, yes, I do know one. Uh, exponential function does the job, right? Natural exponential is such a function. And so you say, hey, maybe, maybe f of x um, is the exponential function. OK. Um, but that doesn't quite work, right, because then f of x is, is just if prime of x is e to the x, we want 2 times the original thing. Um, and then you realize, oh, wait, hang on. Chain rule, right? If I had a 2 in there, if I had 2x, right? Then when I calculate f prime of x, all right, I would get derivative of the outside, which is the same thing, right? Because it's an exponential function. I get e to the 2x, right? And then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is just 2. And that is 2 times e to the 2x, which is my original function. Does the job, right? OK. But actually, we could, we could generalize a little bit more, because we know that you know, the constant multiple rule says, hey, if you've got a constant in front, right, you just kind of leave the constant there, and you take the derivative. So if I had, you know, like a, I don't know, a k, let's say, or a c out front, and I took the derivative, right, that k would stay put, right? And then this is still, this whole thing here is still f of x times 2, so we still get 2 f of x. Well, there's a solution. Um, turns out this is essentially the general solution, right? Um, it's an exponential function, although, you know, there's a possibility that maybe k is equal to 0. That's That's... One function that does work, 0 is equal to 2 times 0. Um, okay. So we have an answer. Um, we'll see later on that this is indeed the most general answer. Uh, this equation, by the way, this type of equation is very important. Um, this, this equation leads to an exponential function. This is the sort of equation that you see in all sorts of problems involving either exponential growth or exponential decay. Right? And the way you know you're dealing with a problem where you have exponential growth or decay is you're in a scenario where your derivative is proportional to the original function. Anytime that happens, you know you're in this scenario. And this scenario happens all over the sciences, right? Population growth, radioactive decay, it's a very common scenario. It's one that you want to understand. So there you have it. Okay? Um, we'll, uh, we'll see in the next section how to solve this systematically. This is an example of what's called a separable differential equation. And the, uh, the trick for that, and we're going to see this pretty soon, is you write y prime as dy dx. And you allow yourself to manipulate these as fractions. And you say, hey, let's put the dx over there. Let's bring the dy and bring the y down. Get all the y's on one side. Get all the x's on the other side. You integrate both sides. Um, we'll see how to solve using those methods, um, but not for a little while.